Hey everybody, it's low carbon keto nutrition specialist Amy Berger here, but today I'm not bringing you keto without the crazy. I want to share with you some very sad news that I bring you with a very, very heavy heart. Um, I feel a little strange doing a video about this, but I would feel even stranger not doing a video about it and not saying anything about it publicly. Uh, I am sure many, many of you are familiar with the name Sarah Hallberg, D.O. She, she was a doctor of uh, osteopathy and um, she was battling cancer for a few years. And unfortunately, she has passed away. We have lost an absolute luminary and an absolute pioneer of ketogenic and low carbohydrate research and a lot of you those of you who do know her are probably most familiar with her ted talk i'll and i'll put links to everything below she did a ted talk called something like reversing type 2 diabetes starts with ignoring the dietary guidelines and that video has i mean over a million views i think i'll have to check but um she also did a very very uh, poignant and, and heartwarming and touching podcast with Peter Atia, MD. Some of you may know him. I'll put links to that. There's a video version that you can watch and you can also catch it on his podcast, which is called The Drive. Drive like driving a car, D-R-I-V-E, The Drive. Um, but I'll, I'll put links. And it's Pretty much all of us who are having success with a low carb or ketogenic diet right now owe Dr. Hallberg a huge debt of gratitude and a huge thanks because she she's part of Verta Health, but you know, even before then, even before she was part of Verta, she was publishing research and of course helping thousands upon thousands of patients. She was based in Lafayette, Indiana, and I Forgive me, I don't remember off the top of my head if she was at uh, Purdue University or University of Indiana, somewhere, somewhere thereabouts. And um, she, so, so Verta Health has, they, they are a private company, but they have funded a lot of research in the therapeutic power of ketogenic diets for reversing diabetes, improving cardiovascular health, all kinds of things. And they've, they've published several papers now, many of which I've cited in my work. I mean, you all know I, I'm a writer and I write for various outlets. I've cited those papers countless times, even on my blog, but you know, in articles that were published elsewhere. And um, it's, it's really just a huge blow. And what a legacy she leaves what an admirable life she led and i just think let let her memory be a blessing to all of us let us carry on her legacy of of educating people about the therapeutic power of this way of eating like oh you can lose weight great but you can also be free of type 2 diabetes you can stop requiring insulin injections you can stop requiring medication of course don't do that on your own get doctor supervision you can conceive a child naturally even though you were diagnosed with pcos you can reverse non-alcoholic fatty liver joint pain goes away acid reflux goes away many people are using keto now for lipedema i just um, recorded a video for a virtual symposium about that i mean the list goes on and on and let us carry the message let us carry the torch because she's not here anymore to carry it and we can carry it for her but above all that above i forget low carb and keto she if i had half the work ethic she had and i had half the gumption i mean i would have written eight books by now or i i don't know what but let us carry her memory of selfless service and um, dedication to a higher purpose than ourselves and kindness and generosity. If, if I recall correctly, I met her once in person a few years back, just very briefly. Um, and 
just what I know of her life and of her family life and of her, her career and her personal history, Qu quite the role model in every sense of the word, not, not just in keto, but it's, what, what a loss this is for our community. And I, I'd be remiss if I didn't address sort of the elephant in the room. I try to be very careful in my videos and in my, you know, and my writing as much as I clearly celebrate and applaud and promote the awesome and, and in the in the true sense of word, the awesome, awe-inspiring power of carbohydrate restriction. As much as I I mean I have made my career based on it, keto doesn't always fix or prevent everything. Sometimes stuff still happens and people still get sick. And I'm very I try to be very careful with what I say, especially about cancer. You know, weight loss, type two diabetes, some of these things, we know it's a slam dunk. But all I can think is that if, if anyone in the world had access to the very top minds, the very top strategies, the very top procedures and technology and guidance available for any medical condition, it's Dr. Hallberg. And she still, developed cancer and she still lost her life to it and so the answer to health is not always to keto harder and it's not always to look at someone's diet oh well if only they had done that or maybe they shouldn't have eaten that i am so turned off when i see that and i see it all the time on social media this sort of blame blame game kind of thing. And I really try not to participate in it. I try to be really careful with my language as, you know, potentially prevent such and such issue or, you know, in most people, such and such does X, Y, Z. Um, but we're not, we're not here forever, people. We're not here forever. And keto can, keto goes a long way for most of us, but we are still immortal, oh, sorry, mortal beings, not immortal. We are mortal beings. And um, I, 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 I'm I, gonna start speaking more and doing more videos about my own situation with depression. And I'm, I'm having a really, really hard time lately identifying something that's gonna make me come alive and make me come to life. And keto does that in some ways and helping people does that in some ways, but something, something's missing from it. Something is not quite where I want it to be for me to feel that spark of life and that zest of life. And I mean, truly, truly, Dr. Hallberg's legacy. And I, I've known that she was sick for a long time now. And I, I think about her a lot and think about what do I want my legacy to be? And what can I do on a daily basis to make a difference out there? I mean, the difference that she made, the difference that she made in thousands of lives Right, I had, we, we have an adapter life, we have a subscription membership for support and all that, like it's a, basically a virtual support group. And somebody mentioned, you know, I, I shared that Sarah has passed away and somebody said that her first introduction to Dr. Hallberg was that TED talk. And she said she quite literally saved my life. And so I, I know I'm gonna find my thing but with every day that passes that I don't know what it is and I feel like I'm spinning my wheels and I'm so scared that I'm never going to find it. It's terrifying, but, and, and I, I really look to Dr. Hallberg as that inspiration because she, her life was cut so short and she accomplished so much, so much in the short time that she had here. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm, I mean, I'm proud of the books I've written that it's not that I've done nothing, but what, oh, there's some, there's something out there. And maybe it's something in the keto space. It's just for me to do my work in a different way than I currently do it or 
something else within the key. You know, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's out there. And I hope to God that I find it soon because every day that passes that I haven't found it. So if... If you have benefited in any way from my work, thank you. I thank you for giving me purpose and for giving my life meaning, especially sometimes when I feel like I'm kind of, you know, writing articles that like, is anyone even going to read this? Who's going to see this kind of thing? And um, the days, the days when my depression is its worst, and there's a lot of very, very negative, terrible voices in my head, the logical part of my brain, that itty bitty part that still is logical and rational, can point to some of my work and know that I make a difference for people. And every now and then I, I hear from you. I mean, the comments are always really nice. I don't always reply and keep up, but I'm very lucky. I have very few haters, or if I do have haters, they kind of stay away, which is nice. Um, the vast, vast majority of comments you all leave are very positive and, and supportive and thankful, and I thank you for that. And, um, you know, once in a while, I just get an email out of the blue, Amy, love your work, thanks so much. You have no idea how much that means to me on the days that are really dark. To know that however I might feel about myself, my work does matter and I am making a difference. Even if I don't feel like it, there is objective evidence to the to disprove that. So anyway, it, this is not about me. It's about Dr. Hallberg, but it's about Dr. Hallberg's legacy and her influence and what an inspiration she is. And so I know, I know many of you watching know who she is and um, have benefited from her work. So... Let's just, you know, take a moment to honor her. And like I said, may, may her memory be a blessing. And if we can just carry the torch of keto and, and it does not in the way of like preaching to people and getting in people's faces. I've never been about that. We don't want to proselytize, but it's here. The message is here. The therapeutic power is here if and when friends and family, acquaintances, whoever may be in your life, if and when they become curious or they want to approach you and have questions, you're there for them. And you can do it kindly and peacefully and cal you know calmly and just, here's the information. If you'd like my help, you know, you know where to reach me. Like you can read this book or watch that video. Um, let's, let's be a trusted source of information that could potentially save somebody's life or change it for the better. Um, but you know, we can do that without <laughs> the proselytizing and without the shaming. So yeah, like I said, I, I feel a little weird doing a video about this, but I would have felt more weird being silent. So this is what it is. And I'm, I'm just speaking from the heart. So oh, no hair, no makeup, none of that stuff. And if you, yeah, if you're part of my little corner of the Ketoverse, thank you. And you are welcome here. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Go hug somebody. Go hug a loved one. Go tell them you love them. Because you don't know when it's going to be for the last time. Okay? And if you are out there right now and you're alone and you're on your own and you're feeling isolated... I love you. I'll tell you that I love you. If you have nobody else, you have me. Because I know how it feels to be alone and isolated. And so, you're not alone if we're together. And I'm not alone if we're together. So, I thank you. And I will see you next time. And remember, check out those links. I will link to Dr. Holberg, God rest her soul. I will link to her TED Talk and to the interview that Peter Atia did with her. I just think... um really outstanding stuff. And uh, God bless, God bless, Godspeed, Dr. Hallberg. Thank you.